We are ready to set up our first media query. This is going to be our low-resolution media query. You could call this your mobile media query, but I prefer the term low-resolution, low, medium, and high-resolution. That's what I prefer anyway. But realistically, though, this media query is going to target mobile and smartphone devices and don't forget that we're going to be targeting a display of 480 pixels and below, which is the typical smartphone width. If you wanted to, what you could do is you could set up even more media queries. Of course, we're only going to be setting up three media queries, but you could really go nuts with this if you really wanted to. You could set up, for instance, an additional media query for vertical or portrait smartphone or low resolution devices. You could do that as well. So in other words, you'd have two media queries for the low resolution or the mobile, vertical and horizontal, if you wanted to. You don't have to do that. In any regard, we're just going to be doing the one. It's going to be 480 pixels and below. Okay, that's what we're targeting. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. This is all going to happen inside the external style sheet, styles.css. So what I'm going to do right off the bat is all the stuff that we've been monkeying around with up until this point, our two quick tests that we did from the previous exercise, I'm going to go and select them and get rid of them. We don't need them. And here's what I'm going to type in. Here's how we type in our media query. I'm going to type in an at symbol, so shift two on your keyboard, and then media space only space screen space and <laughs> space and then in brackets, in regular brackets here, curvy brackets, if you will, not the squiggly brackets or the curly brackets. I'm going to say max width and then full colon space and then the width that we want to target. We said 480 px for pixels. And then close your curvy bracket, throw in a space, and then throw in a pair of curvy brackets or squiggly brackets, I should say. There we are. That's it. This is our low resolution media query. Now, how can we test that our media query actually works? Well, if I save my external style sheet, Controller Command S on your keyboard, and then I flip back over to my web browser and refresh Controller Command R, well, there goes the background and there goes the formatting on the text. That's great, but we haven't really been able to test out if this actually functions or not. How do I actually test it out? Well, here's what I'm going to do. We not only want to set up the media query, but we want to test this guy as well. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back over to my code here. All of the CSS rules that we want to apply to a monitor resolution or a device resolution, perhaps more accurately, that's 480 pixels and below, they would all have to appear inside the squiggly brackets. So, for instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my cursor inside the curly brackets here, the squiggly brackets, and I'm going to type out the following. P space squiggly brackets. So now we have two pairs of squiggly brackets. It gets a little wacky here. And then I'll go color, full colon, space, and then blue, something like that. So I hope this makes sense. So all we're doing is we're repeating what we saw or what we did in the previous exercise to test out the connection between the HTML file and the external style sheet. Same sort of idea, but now what we're doing is we're taking that testing idea a step further. What I'm saying here is that I want the color of my paragraph to appear blue, but only if the page is being viewed on a device whose resolution is lower than 480 pixels. Does that make sense? So go ahead and save your work here. Now, the million dollar question, how the heck am I going to test this? You know, I could, I suppose, upload this to a live web server and then pull out my Samsung smartphone or my iPhone and then navigate to that page. You know, you certainly could do that if you wanted to. Or what we can do is we can test everything on our computer right now, which is exactly what I like to do. So it's actually incredibly low tech, as a matter of fact. I'm going to flip back over to my browser. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh my browser once again, Control or Command R. No change here on screen, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start resizing my browser window. I'm just going to grab this bottom corner on my browser window, and I'm going to start to scale the size of my browser window. And eventually what's going to happen is my browser window is going to get small enough that eventually I'm going to wind up below that 480 pixel threshold, if you will. 
and I'm going to wind up with blue text. I hope I wind up with blue text. If I do, that means that my media query is functioning correctly. So it works. That's the good news. And again, I can see that breakpoint, that threshold that I cross once I enter into, if you will, that 480 pixel width zone, if you want to call it that. Now, I know this example is incredibly low tech, but don't forget, we're just testing things out here. We're just getting warmed up at this point. So what we're going to be doing later on, of course, is we're going to be setting it up so that once the device reaches a point where it's 480 pixels or less, then we want to rearrange the layout. We don't really want to make text blue. What we want to do is we want to change the width of the header. We want certain content to be removed. We want other content to be rearranged. That's really what all this is about. So I hope that makes sense for you. There's one final thing that I want to do back inside the external style sheet. So just head back to your styles.css file for a moment, if you would. This is really only for ourselves to help us out a little bit down the road here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to create an empty line above the media query, and I'm going to type in a CSS comment just to remind me that I have a media query here and that I'm targeting the 480 pixel width and below, so 480 pixels or less. So here's what I'm going to do, forward slash asterisk, this is how we create a CSS comment, and I'm going to say low resolution, you could type in really whatever message you want, I'm going low resolution, comma, space, and then I'm just going to type in 480 pixels and below. So any sort of comment that you want, just to remind yourself of what you've done here, or what resolutions, or what devices you're targeting, followed by an asterisk, followed by a forward slash. That's it. So that's just a simple little comment for ourselves, and it's really going to have no impact on the page inside the browser. It's just a comment inside the code to help us along. More importantly, we have the first media query set up, and we've tested them as well, and everything is functioning.